Once you've got imbalanced intestinal flora, once the bacteria in your intestinal tract are imbalanced, not imbalanced, and the composition, the diversity, the number of intestinal bacteria gets disrupted for whatever reason, whether it's yeast overgrowth or parasites or bacterial overgrowth or antibiotics or long-term periods of stress or a prolonged illness or following a colonoscopy, there are consequences to pay, and the consequences have to do with the imbalanced colonic flora irritating the mucosa of the intestinal tract. That can lead to leaky gut syndrome. That can lead to what we call altered gut permeability. You've now got malabsorption of nutrients. You've now got a weakened immune system. The potential for autoimmune disease and that can lead all the way to impaired pancreatic function and can lead to maldigestion way up in the stomach, leading to problems like asthma and eczema, recurrent ear infections, headache, fatigue, all of these illnesses related to this, what we call dysbiotic gut and an imbalance in the relationship between the good bacteria and the digestive enzymes. That is the key to the whole thing. Maintaining the delicate balance in your intestinal, the probiotic bacteria and your intestinal enzymes is essential for good health. The digestion and absorption of your foods plus the strength of your immune system depend on this balance between probiotic bacteria and your intestinal digestive enzymes.